Welcome back to Kittens and Crochet YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this larger jellyfish. So for a size comparison, this is the jellyfish we've already made together. And this is the larger one. So I decided to do this because after looking through a lot of my comments, I see a lot of people asking about making a larger jellyfish, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a tutorial for it. The pattern is very similar to the original jellyfish, but it is slightly different. Before we get started, I'd like to thank my subscribers for staying loyal to me. If you're new, welcome. Please check out my other playlists. Um, I'd also like to address that I haven't been uploading recently. I actually just got married, so I was pretty busy with wedding planning, but now that's all done, I can go ahead and get back into crocheting. So the things you'll need to make this jellyfish is you'll need three different colors of 100% acrylic, five bulky yarn. I'm using Charisma Sorbet. So the colors that I'm using for this video <clears throat> are Aqua Sorbet, Iris, and White. So we're going to be making this blue one on the left, but as you see on the right, you can make it whatever color you'd like. You will also need a 6.5 and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need some washable stuffing, a yarn needle, scissors, and a space marker. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with making the body first. So get whatever color yarn you want for the body. So I've picked this blue. You could go pink or whatever color you'd like and get your six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to start with a magic circle with six stitches. For round two, we're going to do two single crochet in each of the six stitches you just made. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, and twelve. And that's the end of row two. For row three, we're also going to do two single crochet in each of the now twelve stitches you have. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And that is the end of row three. For row four, we're just gonna do one single crochet in each of the 24 stitches around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. And that's the end of row four. Row five is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets into the next stitch. So one in the first and two in the second. One in the first and two in the second. And we are going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, so now we're down the last two stitches, and you should have one in the first and two in this last stitch. And that is the end of row five, and we now have 36 stitches around. Row six is going to be one row even, so one single crochet in each of the 36 stitches. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. And that's the end of row six. Row seven is gonna be one single crochet in the first two stitches and then two single crochet into the next stitch. So we got one in the first, one in the second, and then two into the third. One in the first, one into the second, and two into the third. One in the first, one in the second, and two into the third. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, so now we're down to the last three stitches. So one in the first, one in the second, and two into this last stitch. And that's the end of row seven, and you should now have 48 stitches around. So row eight is gonna be one row even, and it's gonna be one single crochet in each of these 48 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 
44, 45, 46, 47, and 48. And that is the end of row 8. Row 9 is also going to be one row even. So one single crochet in each of the 48 stitches around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 and 48 and that's the end of row 9 row 10 is going to be one single crochet in the first three stitches and then two single crochet into the next so we got one in the first one in the second one in the third and two into the fourth one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two into the fourth. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two into the fourth. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Okay, so now we're down to the last four stitches. So it just says we have been doing one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two into this last stitch. Okay, so for the next 10 rows, rows 11 through 20, it's going to be one single crochet in each of the now 60 stitches you have around. 
So I'll go ahead and do the first row with you. So this is row 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and sixty. So that was the end of row 11. So you now have nine rows left to do. So go ahead and pause your video and go ahead and work on the rest of these nine rows and I will meet you back here for row 21. Okay, so you should now have 20 rows done. If you wanna double check, you can just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So now we're gonna jump right back in and work on row 21. Row 21 is gonna be one single crochet in the first three stitches, and then we're gonna crochet two together, but we're only gonna be working in the back loops. So if you look, each stitch has two loops, a front one and a back one. We're gonna be working in the back ones only. So it's going to be one single crochet in the first three stitches in the back loops only. So one, two, three. And now we're going to crochet two together. Still in back loops only. And then again, one in the first. one in the second, one in the third, and then two together. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two together. One in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and two together. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around. Just remember we're only working in the back loops.
Mr. Peanut over here supervising. Okay, so now we're down to our last five stitches. Still in the back loops like we have been. It's one in the first, one in the second, one in the third, and then crochet your last two stitches together. And that's the end of row 21, and you should now have 48 stitches around. For row 22, we're going to be doing invisible decreases now, and we're going to be working one seam crochet in the first stitch, and then we're going to crochet two together. So if you've never done an invisible decrease, so we're going to be working the single crochet under both loops like normal, so one in the first. And now we're going to do an invisible decrease. So how you have two loops, now you're going to go into the front loop only of the next stitch. Then you're going to turn your hook and go into the front loop only of the second stitch. And then you're going to pull through those two loops and then pull through the last loop. And we're going to continue this all the way around. So once you crochet in the first stitch, you're just going to go under both loops like regular. And then you're going to crochet two together, invisible decrease. So one under the first front loop, and then under the second front loop. And then pull through two, and pull through the last stitch. So, one single crochet in the first stitch, under both loops, and now we're going to invisible decrease two together, so go under the front loop only of the first stitch, and then the front loop only of the second stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. One single crochet in the next stitch under both loops. And now invisible decrease two together. Go under the front loop only. And then under the front loop only of the second stitch. Or never pull through two. Or never pull through two. And we're just going to continue doing this all the way around. So one single crochet in the first stitch under both loops and then invisible decrease two together so into the front loop only and into the front loop only so just continue this all the way around
If you find this invisible decrease to be too hard or you just don't like it, you can just do regular crochet two together. It can be kind of hard to get used to. Even I sometimes go to yarn, go through the first loop and want to yarn over and pull through. All right, so you're down to your last three stitches. Again, it's just gonna be one single crochet and then crochet two together, invisible decrease. Okay, so that is the end of row 22 and you should now have 32 stitches around. Row 23 is going to be one single crochet in the next two stitches and then invisible decrease two together. So we're going to do one in the first stitch under both loops, one in the second stitch under both loops, and now we're going to invisible decrease two together. So under the first loop only and under the second front loop only and then again you're going to put one single crochet in the first two stitches under both loops and then invisible decrease two together so go under the front loop only of the first stitch and then under the front loop only of the second stitch And then we're just going to continue this all the way around. So one single crochet in the first two stitches and then invisible decrease two together. One single crochet in the first two stitches and then invisible decrease two together. And just repeat all the way around. Okay, so we're down to our last four stitches. It's going to be one single crochet in the first two, and then a visible decrease two together. All right, and that is the end of row 23, and now we're going to start stuffing. Alright, 
so now I got the shape kind of going there. It's going to take a lot of stuffing to fill this jellyfish. So this is just the start. We're going to put more in as we go. Okay, so now you got the stuffing kind of started here. So now we're going to move on to row 24. And row 24 is going to be one single crochet in the first two stitches and then invisible decreasing two together. So exactly what we just did in the last row. Okay, so it's gonna be one single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in the second stitch. And then we're going to invisible decrease two together. Let's see, I tried to wrap around the yarn already. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So one in the first, and one in the second, and then invisible decrease two together. One in the first, one in the second, and an invisible decrease two together. One in the first, one in the second. And then invisible decrease two together. One in the first. One in the second. And invisible decrease two together. One in the first. One in the second. And then invisible decrease your last two together. So that's the end of row 24 and you should now have 18 stitches around so we're going to take this time and add more stuffing and work on shaping the jellyfish Kind of wanting a nice smooth round top here. Okay, so after we've done some stuffing and shaping, we're going to move on to row 25. Row 25 is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and then invisible decreasing two together. So, single crochet in this first stitch. And then we're going to invisible decrease two together. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. And then invisible decrease two together. And 
one single crochet in the first stitch and invisible decrease two together one single crochet in the first stitch and invisible decrease two together So crochet in the first stitch and then invisible decrease two together now we're down to our last three stitches and it's going to be one single crochet in the first stitch and invisible decrease two together Okay, that's the end of row 25, and you should now have 12 stitches around. So this is your last time to really be able to get in here to mess with the stuffing. So just go ahead and shape it down to your liking for the last time. Add more stuffing if you need to. And then we're going to go ahead and do these last two rows. Okay, moving on to row 26. It's going to be exactly what we just did. One single crochet in the first stitch and invisible crochet two together. So just be sure you're not pulling stuffing through. That's why I'm kind of holding mine weird. One in the first and then invisible decrease two together. One in the first. And invisible decrease two together. One in the first. And invisible decrease two together. Okay, and now we have three stitches left. It's going to be one in the first. And invisible decrease the last two together. Right, and that's the end of row 26, and you now have eight stitches around. Okay, so for row 27, um, we're just going to invisible decrease two together twice and finish off. So I'm not even going to put my marker here. So I'm going to invisible decrease two together once. And then invisible decrease two together a second time. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn free and pull it through. And now we're going to go ahead and close up this hole. So just take your yarn tail and put it on a yarn needle and then we're just going to weave in and out of all these remaining stitches and then pull it tight it closes it up and then I'm just going to knot off on a nearby stitch and take this yarn tail down and through the bottom of the jellyfish. And then just cut it free. Alright, 
right, so here is our jellyfish so far. So now we're going to go ahead and put the little trim on it. So you can use the same color as the body or you can use a different color. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same color. Okay, so whatever color yarn you selected, go ahead and make a slip knot and use the same crochet hook you have in using the six and a half millimeter. Now if you look at the bottom of the jellyfish, you can see the remaining front loops from row 21. There's 60 of them. And you can see where one is farther back than the other, kind of where they meet. So we're going to go into this first loop here. And that's where we're going to make our first single crochet. And then the loop that was farther forward, go into that one and make a single crochet. So I'd like to start there because it kind of makes that space a lot less noticeable when you put the first one in the back one and then the second one in the front one. Kind of pulls it together a little bit. So there were... 60 front loops remaining we did two so there's 58 so just go ahead and put one single crochet in each of these remaining front loops three four five six seven eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 
54, 55, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Okay, so you should have 60 single crochets around. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to skip the next stitch and put three double crochets into the next. So this is where we slip stitched. We're gonna skip this next stitch and put three double crochets into the next. So one, two, and three. Now we're gonna skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch. And again, skip a stitch and three double crochets into the following stitch. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna skip a stitch and slip stitch into the following stitch. And we're just gonna repeat this all the way around. So skip a stitch, three double crochet, one, two, three, skip a stitch and slip stitch. Skip a stitch, three double crochet, one, two, three, skip a stitch and slip stitch.
All right, we're getting close to where we first started now. Okay, so we're down to our last three stitches. So you're gonna skip a stitch and three double crochet. And then skip your last stitch and just slip stitch into that first slip stitch that we made. Now go ahead and cut your yarn free. And pull it through. So now you have these two yarn tails. So we're just gonna weave them in real quick. Just going to weave them in through some stitches to hide them. And cut it free. And then do the same thing with the other one. Okay, and then cut that last one free. All right, so your jellyfish has probably been through a little bit here, getting squished and stuff. So just go ahead and reshape it. And here is the top of your jellyfish. So you can go ahead and set that aside for now, and we'll begin working on the tentacles. So now we're going to go ahead and make some tentacles for our jellyfish. So the first tentacle we're going to make is this long straight one. So you make four of these and I tend to just use the same color that I used for the body, but you can use whatever colors you want. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So for this tentacle, we're going to switch over to the five and a half millimeter crochet hook. You're going to leave a longer yarn tail to start and make a slip knot. And now we're going to chain 51. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So now in the second chain from the hook, you're just going to place one single crochet. And we're going to continue just placing one single crochet in each one of these chains. So that's two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So now just cut about an equal length yarn tail and finish off. So now that this is finished, go ahead and set it aside and we'll make the second one. So for this tentacle, we're going to switch over to the five and a half millimeter crochet hook. You're going to leave a longer yarn tail to start and make a slip knot. And now we're going to chain 51. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So now in the second chain from the hook, you're just going to place one single crochet. And we're going to continue just placing one single crochet in each one of these chains. So it's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So now just cut about an equal length yarn tail and finish off. Now your second one is finished, so go ahead and set this aside and we'll make a third one. So for this tentacle, we're going to switch over to the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to leave a longer yarn tail to start and make a slip knot. And now we're going to chain 51. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So now in the second chain from the hook, you're just going to place one single crochet. And we're going to continue just placing one single crochet in each one of these chains. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 
26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So now just cut about an equal length yarn tail and finish off. Okay, so your third one is done, so let's go ahead and set this aside and make the last one. So for this tentacle, we're going to switch over to the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to leave a longer yarn tail to start and make a slip knot. And now we're going to chain 51. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So now in the second chain from the hook, you're just going to place one single crochet. And we're going to continue just placing one single crochet in each one of these chains. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 
37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So now just cut about an equal length yarn tail and finish off. Okay, so you should now have four of these tentacles made. So let's go ahead and set these aside and we'll move on. So the next tentacle we're going to work on is one of these spiral ones. So we're going to start with the longer one first. And for this jellyfish, I chose purple to work with. To start, we're going to leave a long yarn tail and make a slip knot. And then we're going to take the six and a half millimeter crochet hook and we're going to chain 65. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. And now we're switching to the five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So in the second chain from the hook, you're going to put two single crochet, one, and two. In the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochet, one, two. And now in the stitch after that, we're going to put three single crochet, one, two, three. Now we're just going to keep rotating two single crochet in the first stitch and three single crochet in the second stitch. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And as you see, it's already starting to turn. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, 
two, three. One, two, one, two, and three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two. Three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, 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 
one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so I ended with two as my last one, which is what you're supposed to end with. But if you end with three, it doesn't matter. It just means that somewhere in here you got the two single crochet and three single crochet mixed up. But it's not going to look any different. So once you're done, go ahead and cut that. And pull it through. And the tentacle is made. Now we need two of these, so go ahead and set this aside and we'll make the second one. To start, we're going to leave a long yarn tail and make a slip knot. And then we're going to take the 6.5mm crochet hook and we're going to chain 65. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. And now we're switching to the five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So in the second chain from the hook, you're going to put two single crochet. One, and two. In the next stitch, we're going to put two single crochet one, two, and now in the stitch after that we're going to put three single crochet, one, two, three. Now we're just going to keep rotating two single crochet in the first stitch and three single crochet in the second stitch. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. And as you see, it's already starting to turn. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. 
one, two, one, two, and three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, Two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and three. One, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, 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 one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. Two, one, two, three, one, two, one, 
two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so I ended with two as my last one, which is what you're supposed to end with. But if you end with three, it doesn't matter. It just means that somewhere in here you got the two single crochet and three single crochet mixed up, but it's not gonna look any different. So once you're done, go ahead and cut that and pull it through and the tentacle is made. Okay, so now you have both your tentacles made, we're gonna go ahead and make the last set of tentacles. So this last tentacle we're gonna make, it's the same as the one we just made, except for it's a little bit shorter. So let's go ahead and get started. So leave an extra long yarn tail and make a slip knot. And then using the six and a half millimeter crochet hook, we're going to chain 61. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Now go ahead and switch over to your five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And in the second chain from the hook, place two single crochet. One, two. In the next chain, two single crochet. One, two. In the next chain, three single crochet. One, Two, three, in the next chain, two single crochet, one, two. Now just like with the other tentacle, we're just going to repeat three single crochet and two single crochet for the rest of the chain. One, two, three, one, One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, 
one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one. Two, three, and two in this last stitch. One, two. If you ended with three, that just means you got mixed up somewhere, but the result should look the same, so it's okay. Okay, so your tentacle is done.
go ahead and set this to the side and we'll make the second one. So leave an extra long yarn tail and make a slip knot. And then using the six and a half millimeter crochet hook, we're going to chain 61. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Now go ahead and switch over to your five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And in the second chain from the hook, place two single crochet. One, two, in the next chain, two single crochet. One, two. In the next chain, three single crochet. One, two, three. In the next chain, two single crochet. One, two. Now just like with the other tentacle, we're just going to repeat three single crochet and two single crochet for the rest of the chain. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, 
one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one. Two, three, and two in this last stitch. One, two. If you ended with three, that just means you got mixed up somewhere, but the result should look the same, so it's okay. Okay, so your tentacle is done. So now both of your tentacles are done. Let's go ahead and set these aside and we'll begin assembling. Okay, so we're now going to attach the tentacles to the bottom of the jellyfish. So we're going to attach the spiral ones first. It doesn't matter which color you start with. But we're going to be attaching them between rows 24 and 25. So you could count from the top down, but I find it easier to just know that this was 27. So 26 and 24 and 25 are here. So you just grab whichever color you want to start with. And really you can attach these anywhere you want on the bottom. So if you don't like where I'm attaching them, you can even make more tentacles if you'd like and attach even more. So... I'm just going to go in and go up about two rows and pop back out. And so that's where that one went in and I'm going to stop it right where the tentacle starts. 
And now I'm going to take the other side where the other yarn tail is, and I'm going to take my yarn needle and go through that. And then I'm going to go back into that same hole that I just came out of, and I'm going to go down one row and pop back out and kind of pull that tight on there. Now I'm going to go through the middle of this tentacle. And then I'm going to go back down through that same hole. And now I'm going to pop out where I very first went in. Pull that yarn tail tight. So now I'm just going to leave that there for a second. Now I'm going to switch to the other yarn tail. And now I'm going to go right in where I first attached this top to the jellyfish. I go down in there and pop out one row down and we're going to go through the middle again and then right back down into that same hole and pop out where that last yarn tail just came out and now I'm going to grab a hold of this end of the jellyfish of the tentacle I mean And then I'm going to go back into the jellyfish where I first went in. And then I'm going to take this yarn tail away just to space. Now that first yarn tail you had, go ahead, put it back on your needle. And just take it out to meet up with the other yarn tail. And now I'm just going to kind of knot these two together. And your tentacles nice and secured to the jellyfish and now I'm going to put both these strands back on this needle because we're going to take these yarn tails away from this tentacle and cut them loose so just go back into this hole where you came out of and then just kind of take them away And then cut them loose just like that so there is one tentacle attached so now I'm going to switch to the other color now you don't have to really worry too much about counting but we're going to be attaching these rotating colors. So we got purple and then it'll be white, purple, white. So you can just imagine where this purple one will be straight across from the other one. If you want, you can go ahead and attach that one now if it makes it easier. We're going to attach this white one right in the middle here. So you don't even have to count anymore. Just see where you put the other one. So it needs to go in right here and up two spaces. And we're just going to attach this the same way we attached the last one. So I went in and I pulled it to where the tentacle starts. And I went up two spaces. And now I'm going to attach this yarn tail to the top of the tentacle. And I'm going to go back in that same top hole and down one row and go through the middle of this tentacle and back down through the same hole and then pop out where I started and then just leave that tail there for now and now I'm gonna go with the yarn tail the other yarn tail go right down into that hole where the other one came out of down one row and go through the middle of the tentacle back down through the same hole and then you're going to pop out right where the yarn tail first started 
And now I'm going to reach up and attach this yarn tail to the beginning of this tentacle. I'm going to go back down through that same hole and then just pop out away. And now I can take the yarn tail I started with and go down through the same hole and meet it up with the second yarn tail. And just like the other one, I'm going to tie them together, put them both on this yarn needle, and I'm going to go into the jellyfish and away. and cut them loose. So now we got two attached. So I'm switching back to purple now. And we're gonna be attaching this one straight across from the other purple one. So about right here is where I'm gonna go in with it. So I'm going to go in and pop up two rows. And pull it to where the tentacle starts. And now I'm going to go into the start of the other half of the tentacle. Pull it in. Going back into this same hole. And down one row and then I'm going through the middle of the tentacle so I went through the middle of the tentacle and now I'm going right back into the same hole I just popped out of and I'm going down one row and this is where I very first went in So now I'm leaving that tenant, that yarn tail stay there. I'm going to put this yarn tail on this needle. I'm going into the bottom of the jellyfish and down one row. I'm going to go through the center of this tentacle and then I'm going to go right into the hole I just came out of and then down to where I very first started. I'm going to go through this bottom stitch of the tentacle and down back into the same hole and then I'm just going to go away one space. Now I'm going to pick up this other tentacle, or this other yarn tail. I'm going to go down through the same hole and meet up with my second yarn tail. And I'm going to knot these two together. And then get them both on the yarn needle. Then I'm going to go back into the jellyfish and away. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this free. And there is three tentacles. So now we got our last white one. In the same way we have been attaching, and we're just going to attach directly across from this other white one that we already have attached. So I go in and go up two rows. And then we're going to attach to the other half of this tentacle. And go back in and down one row. 
and we're going to go through the middle of this tentacle and go right back down into the jellyfish and then down one row and then leave that yarn tail. And then we're going to go in to the bottom of the jellyfish and down one row. through the middle of this tentacle and back into the jellyfish and down one row to where we first went in. And then I'm going to go through the bottom half of this tentacle back in that same space and over the space. And then I'm going to take the very first yarn tail we started with, go back into that same hole and meet up with the other yarn tail. We're going to knot these two together. And now get both of them on this yarn needle. And then go back through the jellyfish and just take these away. And cut it free. So now we have all the spiral tentacles attached. Okay, so now we have four tentacles left to attach, which are these straight ones. So go ahead and get your yarn needle and put one of your yarn tails on your needle. And if you look at the bottom of your jellyfish, we're going to be working in between the two spirals. And right where this last row is, before this kind of trim is right here, we're gonna be working in the space in between these two rows. So here's this last row right underneath. We're working in the space. So find the center. So here's the center. You're gonna go in, and instead of going up and down like we have been, you're gonna go straight across. So you're just working in the space in between two rows but you're gonna be attaching it the same way. So I just pulled that all the way to the jelly, bottom of the jellyfish. And then I'm gonna go in the other end of this tentacle, back down into that same hole, going over one space, going through the center of this tentacle, back down into that same space and then over through the same hole we came through originally and then just leave that tentacle or that yarn tail hang in there and then switch over to the other yarn tail and go into the jellyfish and over one space Go through the center of the tentacle. And then down through that same hole and over one space. And then go through this end of the tentacle. Back down through that same hole you started with and then just go over. And then pick up that very first yarn tail you started with. Get it back on your yarn needle and take it over to meet up with that second yarn tail and tie them together and get them both on the needle. And 
take it down through and away and cut it loose. So there we got one attached. So now just rotate your jellyfish over and we're gonna attach another one right there. So remember, just find the center in between these two spirals and work your way up. Go over one space, pop out two spaces over. And just attaching the same way we have been. And after you get these two on your hook, just go ahead and go back in that same space and take it away. And rotate your jellyfish and attach the third tentacle. <laughs> Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Get your tongue sticking out. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I found the center in between these two tentacles. Work my way up. And then I'm going to go in a space over and pop out two spaces over. Going into the end of this tentacle. <laughs> Back down into the jellyfish and over one space. into the center of the tentacle back down into the same hole and then pop out where we started and then drop that yarn tail and leave it get the other yarn tail on here go down into the jellyfish and pop out one space over into the center of the tentacle and back into the jellyfish in the same spot and then pop out where that very first yarn tail went in and grab the end of this yarn this tentacle back down into that same hole and over get that first yarn tail take it back into the jellyfish and meet up with the other yarn tail Go ahead and knot these two together. Get them both on this yarn needle. Take them back into the bottom of the jellyfish and away. And 
cut them free. And now to attach the last tentacle. So go ahead and get your yarn tail on your needle. Just find the center in between these two tentacles and go up and then over and pop out two spaces. Go into the bottom of this other tentacle. Go back in and over one space. Go through the center of the tentacle, back into the jellyfish, and over where we started. And take the other yarn tail, and go into the jellyfish and over one spot, through the center of the tentacle, back into the same hole that you came out of and over one space to where we started. Grab the top half of this tentacle, back into the hole, and over. Grab the other ten or the other yarn tail. Go back into the jellyfish and meet up with the other yarn tail, and then knot these two together. And then go ahead and take these yarn tails in through the jellyfish and away and cut them free. So now you can see how the tentacles were attached. Closer in the center we have the four spirals and then closer to the outside we have the four straight ones. So your jellyfish is probably going to be a little squished after all that attaching, so just kind of play with them a little bit, give him his shape back. And there is your large jellyfish. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, you can add more tentacles if you'd like. I just kind of like to stick with the eight here. But thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Um, also, please check out some of my other tutorials and check out the playlist for the other jellyfish. Thank you.